Switching focus to political news now, amid the ongoing row with her party over an alleged assault by Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's personal secretary, Bibhav Kumar, Swati Maliwal has now reportedly received rape and death threats. The former chief of the DCW has criticized a popular YouTuber for releasing a one-sided video against her, claiming that it escalated threats. Taking to a social media platform X, Swati said, and I quote, after the leaders and volunteers of my party have already orchestrated a campaign of character assassination, victim shaming and fanning of emotions against me, I have now been getting rape and death threats as well. Allegedly, the YouTuber in question posted a video on the 22nd of May attempting to explain the assault case, showing snippets of news articles. He mentioned that Smaliwal had accused Kumar of assaulting her, but the CCTV footage showed her behaving rudely with the security staff at the chief minister's residence. In response, Swati Maliwal has highlighted several facts the YouTuber missed, including the party's initial acknowledgement of the incident. She also questioned why the accused arrested at the crime scene was allowed back, suggesting evidence tampering. Maliwal has stated that she has reported the threats to the Delhi police, urging strong action. Let's go across to my colleague Nikhil, who is joining us with more details. Nikhil, clearly, Swati Maliwal is in no mood to cow down. And what she has done now is for added a further dimension to this raging controversy, that of now rape and death threats being received by her. Well, clearly, Vitanshu, in, in an uh, unexpected move, uh, Swati Maliwal reached out to the Sajari court in person, where she was tried as well during the hearing. But it was not uh, pre-scheduled that she was going to appear there in person. In fact, the council has also represented her side, and it was a high-level drama which has unfolded and continues to unfold in the PCR court where the regular daily application has been filed by Pedro Kumar in the court of law. Remember, last time when he was produced in the PCR court before the magistrate, uh, the police sought four days of the uh, demand uh, for the judicial custody and he was immediately sent to the Tihar uh, which comes to an end tomorrow. So tomorrow or day after tomorrow, he will be yet again produced, if not given the bail today. So as we speak, uh, Ratanshu, the uh, submissions are taking place as far as the arguments are concerned from both the sides. But the council, which is representing Swati Madhwar, he has also informed that ever since she has filed the complaint, she continues to receive not just a rape threat, but also the murder threats are also being given to Swati Madhwar by unknown person on different social media platforms. So this is something which is currently unfolding at the PCR court, as we speak. Thank you. All right, Nikhil, thanks a lot for joining us with those developments here. We'll be tracking what's happening in the T-Sazari court very closely indeed.